Hello, I am David W. Parker. This is Programming Today I Learned, WebGL Series, Episode 54. Today we're going to be looking at 3D with the view and model matrices. And so uh, this is going to be a little more um, abstract, but very important to know. So when you're taking into your equations into uh, uh, account, you're going to have multiple matrices, ultimately, the view, uh, the model, and the projection matrices. Um, but let's talk about what each, each of those are, and specifically the model and view in this episode. Uh, the model matrix is also, uh, also known as the world matrix, so you may see it referred to that from time to time. It's unique for every object in your world, and is responsible for transforming the vertices of an object from its local space into the model space. Uh, it's kind of a handful, but basically each model or object has its own matrix, which will ultimately coordinate it to a larger scale space with everything around it. The view matrix is kind of like a camera. So if you think of a camera position, um, it's pointing at something. And so you have to think of the view matrix as uh, a matrix that it's going to be applied to uh, where are the camera's coordinates and positioning. Um, you also saw some of that when you were doing the uh, look at in the previous episode. That is the view matrix uh, will provide the look at um, versus the object itself, like the triangle or whatever, will provide uh, the model matrix. Um, the def full definition on here, as you can see, is camera is actually only constant point of reference within the world. Uh, so the camera is the constant. The view matrix is a transformation that is applied to every object in the scene, but not unique to each object provides the illusion of a camera. It's the inverse of what can consider the model matrix for the camera. And instead of moving the camera itself, it provides the opposite movements to the rest of this uh, scene. So a few equations we'll look at real quick to see why we have the order of operations we do. So let's say we wanted to view some rotated triangles from a specific position. Uh, we need to rotate the vertices, the rotated triangles, as we look at them from a specific position. So first, to just to rotate a shape, we're going to have some rotated vertices, and that's going to have a matrix, uh, rotation matrix, multiplied by the original vertex coordinates. And that'll give you rotated vertex coordinates. Fairly simple. We can use that to get the rotated vertex coordinates from a specific point. So if we want to have that for a position, we'll have a view matrix multiplied by the rotated vertex coordinates. We can substitute this in uh, to the second equation, and now we have the view matrix times the rotation matrix times the original vertex coordinates. The rotation matrix here is also known as the model matrix. And you can just substitute that in, and so you'll have the order of operations will be view matrix times the model matrix times the vertex coordinates. And that's ultimately what you're going to end up having here. You'll have a view matrix, a model matrix, and a, a vector position. Uh, so the coordinates. So you multiply these together in this order and you will get the view exactly like you were expecting. Go ahead and jumping into our application here. Just kind of reorganized again. Um, we have our state as a global variable here with GL program, UI, animation, and within the application state we have the I uh, like we did last time. We have some default vertices here for a few triangles. And we have our initial callback setting up everything as we would expect. Animation is going to go ahead and call update state and draw and then continuously tick. We're going to be looking for left, right, up, and down arrow keys in order to uh, increase or decrease the I of X and the I of Y. And finally, we draw. We're going to go ahead and grab the default vertices if we haven't been provided any. And then we're going to go ahead and set up the view matrix and the model matrix as new identity matrices. matrices set the view matrix to a map for look at given the values for the eye um, the look at position which is the center and the up vector which is going to be the y and then we have a model matrix here which we're not doing anything with yet uh, we will in a moment just but we'll show you the difference of what actually happens and everything else is the same down here so you can see here's our application and you can kind of see we're in 3d here can rotate around and see. We still have the cutoff, like we mentioned in the other episode, which we'll get to eventually. And um, you can kind of see what's happening here. So if we just uh, start over, that's what we look like. But if we go ahead and rotate the uh, model matrix here, um, we end up having slightly different 
positioning here and you can see how it was rotated so um, kind of interesting and uh, that's basically it for the uh, first version of what we're going to be do looking at here um, but this uh, this is a very important formula to know which you have the view matrix times the model matrix times the position and eventually we'll have the projection matrix in there as well so that's it for this episode if you like what you saw go ahead subscribe like this video, share on social media if you will, and go to programmingtil.com and sign up for my newsletter. Have a great one.